Sky Prophet, baby. Back with another video for you. Hope you having a blessed day, man. Hope you moving with the wind. With the field. With these energies. Hope you picking them up in the ways you need to pick them up as far as correcting yourself. Bringing you into the knowings and the the enlightenment that you need for whatever it is you need along your path, along your journey. It's almost guaranteed that the average individual wakes up, open their eyes, unsure about something. It could be one thing, it could be many things, but unsure. Prophet want to send blessings guidance and protection, integrity, strength, focus, and understanding. Each individual out there, no exceptions. Never no exceptions. Okay, the thing with that is this. You guide it, okay? It's almost, it seemed like it would be impossible for any one of y'all, anybody to say, I don't feel spirit, I... I, I'm yet to uh, even understand. I, I ain't felt no presence yet. It's almost impossible. Because spirit putting it in individuals' faces. Now I can say this. Be mindful of your attention. Be mindful of your ways. Because you can miss a blessing through an individual. Individuals will tell you something you need to hear. Individuals will let them words come through that instrument for spirit so you can get whatever it is you need, whatever it is you need. That's the thing with us along these journeys and, and life. You know, and I can say the average, you know, uh, live life, live their life. Whatever understanding they have about it, okay. But the whole time, sitting back, you got 10 fingers. Sitting back and pointing at least seven or eight of them. Just at different things, just being opinionated about something. About something. There's a difference between your preference and your opinion of something. Your judgment of something. Because see your preference, that's pertaining to you. So if it's not pertaining to you, that's not even your preference. So as far as the opinion toward somebody, the judgment toward an individual for that, it shouldn't be. Because there's a few things that you do that's outside of other individuals preference understand the 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 mixture of things understand why all of the separation and judgments and beliefs and truths that's indifferent understand what's going on with all of that you have all of us that has has been in a place where information was withheld in a place where your ancestry has been just a just man just a simple fraction of what it actually is. I don't get tangled up in all of the I'm black, you white. I think I'm better than you. You I don't get caught up in that. I understand this. Who I am, the individual I want to continue to be, 
the disciplines I have about myself, the energy that I make sure I use for the betterment of humanity, for source. That's within this vessel. You just feel it through this vessel, through and around this vessel. But it's coming from beyond this vessel. You know, some people have to come into remembrance. Some individuals are learning. You have young souls. You have souls that that hasn't encountered true experience within lifetimes. So you can look at an individual right now and, and you can determine them to not be tackling life to the best of their abilities, okay? But you can take that same individual, you can break them down, and you can look, go back, if you could play that audio, that video of all that individual situations and experiences, it's so much in there that it's probably way beyond the average individual that you would pay attention to. If it's one thing that should be clear in that symbolic Bible, the one full of the parables for you, the one for you too, Desire to dig deeper so you can find yourself. The one that brought you within this, shall I say, certain spinning cycle of God. Tell you slowing down now, opening your eyes and saying, wow, inside of me, you know, that's where we at. Like, that's where we at. Show love. Show love even if you don't want to show love. Show love. You're supposed to show love. The door is officially closed for y'all to wake up, open them eyes, and try to put them shoes on to go to that room where the dough say not up to par because spirits say up to par each and every day you provide it spirit of the bread you provide it life source you provide it situations and encounters that has allowed you to evolve that has allowed you to evolve hands down hands down say tell them prophet they smart now you smart now you wise now you really use that word and it's 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 truly a definition that's attached to you now. You're becoming wiser. Okay? Up to par. You have to be. You have to be. Up to what? Participate. Spirit say participate. Up to participate. It's your life. is your reality. You know, it's like clean cut. Good or bad. Dark or light, negative or positive. You created in that image and likeness. Just think about what that means. Think about what that means. When you look in the mirror, you're the same energy, you're the same source, okay? You're the same soul that created everything that you can see. That's that oneness that you have. You're the same soul. You read that Bible, what you say? Even if you don't understand it all on a deep level, you know this. Man, Jesus wasn't doing nothing, man. Like, they did him bad. Like, they just had it twisted. They didn't. They had an agenda to themselves. They had an agenda to themselves. Clean cut. Clean cut. Hard for you to believe that that's you. That's you. That's your story. It's hard for you to believe that. You know why? Because you never embrace the God in yourself. 
you never actually open your eyes and say, well, God inside of me, hey, look, man, show love, peace and love, man. Hey, look, all oh, this, man, look, we don't need to do nothing. That, that hurt us. That kill us, man. That Get yourself out of a bind, want to smile, all of them things. Open them lids, straight motivation for that. Drive for that. If you're thinking in a balanced state of mind, from the plants to everything else, the trees created. Why? Why? A lot of things, but one of them is for sure. For you to breathe in what it exhales and for for it to breathe in what you exhale, that's for sure. It's a definite connection right there. All of this moss that's hanging in these trees, probably the, man, probably the spirits say the, the most oxygenated source on the planet on the planet I know it's a lot of y'all we know how it overgrow but like it's almost like each one of y'all ain't never disliked it like you know it always had a certain look to it just just a look to it that you knew I, I, I'm, I can I don't know I say seven out of ten of y'all feel like that though never looked at it like it was just some overgrown grass like oh man you gotta get rid of that man where the uh you know whatever that stuff is that you just spread kill it you know you never thought about that, I don't think, with that moss, you know. But that'll be your reason why. That'll be your reason why. That's embedded within you, like, that's a source. Man, you connected to nature. You connected to nature. Purpose. Everything has purpose. Everything has one. What people don't understand... So they figure they don't have purpose. People don't understand the reasons for the seasons. If you look at the step, one, two, three, go up. That's how it was made. It was just made for you to step up there gradually, gradually and get there. From a lower state, excuse me, to a high state. Sturdy in the middle. Not many steps, you know, depending, whatever, you know, but you can jump. You can jump. You can say I'm grown and look, skip them all. It's not guaranteed every time that you're going to land the way you need to. Even if you paying attention, you skipping all that, it's just a chance that you're taking. It's a chance you're taking. But being aware that you're going up them, each and every one of them, make it up there every time. Your odds is way better, way better. You got it. So look, we're going to eliminate second guess. Ain't no second guessing yourself. Shouldn't have guessed the first time, but that's cool. That's cool. You know why? We didn't know. We ain't know at first. We didn't know like we were supposed to guess. We just, man, we ain't, man, take a chance on it. Hit the buzzer. Got it right this time. Whew. And get it right and go through some pain. You know, we was like that. We was like that. Second guessing, third guessing, living life guessing, weighing guess genes and guessing. You know, like we're literally, you don't have to guess. You don't have to guess. You don't have to guess right now that spirit, God that you hear, spirit have you listening to these words, prophet telling you, spirit. Loves you. God, source, creator, loves you. Just wants you to be better. I can remember, man, at first these videos was, it was so much about profit. And that wasn't even on my end. You know, it was just how individuals perceive me. You know, but I had to come around to the understanding that your frequency is not their frequency. You trying to help them raise their frequency. Your thinking process is different. 
I don't know. I, I, I truly don't look at myself apart from individuals. I got my, my road and individuals got theirs, definitely. I'm confident I can't speak for the next individual. But I am. I always, I, I'm always like that. Weary. Weary. Is a word that's always going to bring you around to why I felt like that. That's why you got phrases like joy in the morning. Like, it'll be all right. That too shall pass. It will be all right. Ups and downs. It's going to be all right, man. Look at you here again. Same ears, the same ears, man. It's the same ears, same eyes, man. Same limbs, man. It's you. It's you. Your vibration, your vibration changing. Your vibration changing. You don't mind hearing something that'll take you on a path all by yourself. A journey all by yourself. Because you can feel that love. You can feel spirit. You know, hands down, this is a phone call. It's a phone call. It's a channel to you. To you. However many listening. Whoever listening. However you listening. Whenever you listening. If time ain't real, these messages from spirit, from God, from source, from the creator, it's timeless. It's timeless. Because what? It's all going to help you. It's all guidance. It's all love. It's timeless, man. You need that shit whenever. <laughs> you know, like whenever. Spirit telling me, <laughs> Spirit, Spirit say you got your Akashic records, right? Okay. You starting to kind of feel that, yeah, certain things you you might have lived before, yeah. Starting to realize that, man, I'm, I'm going through this like this. This got to be some unfinished business because this ain't supposed to be going down like this. You can talk to yourselves. That blood that's in you is multidimensional. It's multidimensional. It is all of those aspects of you that's supernatural. A.K.A. Junk DNA, junk DEA, you know. As much love as you have from the creator, from source. How you gonna come with a life oil within your vessel and can use 10% of it and you fighting this battle, the spiritual warfare? That's what this is all about. That's what this is all about. A lot of things been laying dormant in you. Your intuition been laying dormant. Your discernment been laying dormant in you. Your telepathic communication been laying dormant in you. Some of y'all healing hands, you knowing that your hands heal, been laying dormant in you. A lot of y'all realizing your connection to spirit, to source, to God, laying dormant in you. A lot of y'all not understanding the effect and influence that you have on individuals in that positive way. Just laying dormant in you. Your glasses that you for you to see with just laying dormant in you. A lot of things just laying dormant within individuals. No individual need be concerned about why not me. Because this is one thing Prophet can guarantee you, man. This is advice. You can go anywhere with this. This is what Prophet realized. It would have always been, why me? Because I didn't value me. I didn't love me. I didn't cherish me. I didn't look at me as being a positive role model to individuals. I didn't look at me as an individual that can overcome life. I didn't look at me as being Sky Prophet.
But you hear them. You hear them. You hear them. Thanks to source, God, spirit, infinite creator, the infinite creator. All right. You life, you bring life to this earth. How many individuals around you, you bring life to them? How many individuals around you depend on your guidance within their life? How many individuals just pay attention to your life to see if they could get some kind of structure or direct direction out of it? Your life is unmeasurable. Is unmeasurable. Each life is unmeasurable. See, we got the grass to the tree, everything, the birds and the bear, everybody doing their own thing in their own reality, serving their own purposes. We look at things like, man, that's not right. It's a cycle of things. If we looking at it like that, look, you saying that every day. Something ain't right every day. Something ain't right for you to feel energies that's going against you. And you got God inside of you. You got the creator of all things inside of you. But you got a force that's going against you. It's the force of humans. It's the force of self through training and discipline and habits of information. Mental. That's what it is. See that Satan and that fallen angel and that. That's what that was. That's what that was. The day humanity a human took it upon their own thinking their own free choice to go against love go against compassion go against sharing and caring go against that moral system that your chakras are aligned to them seven seals them seven horns Seven-headed beasts, whatever you want to call them. But them seven chakras, though. Everything is within you. Everything is within you. You waking up, it's a phase. This is a phase. Think about it. Go back. What prophet said, go back a year or two. It wouldn't be this. You'd be looked. Whatever them cycles was. Whatever those cycles was. Where we was unaware when we was in them, thinking we knew this and knew that and didn't re didn't have a clue of things. Those cycles. Think of it. That's not where you're at now. So we understand the purpose. Spirit say we use that word in vain. It's a real thing, though. But it ain't how you think it is, how they taught you it is. Everything is in vain. It's a literal thing. Everything is in vain. Everything is running through your veins. Everything is running through your DEA, your DNA. Everything is running through that life oil, through all of those cells. Everything is in vain. Is in vain, man. Spirit said, go figure. Prophet to tell you, though. Prophet to tell it to you. Junk DNA, junk DEA, cancel that. Cancel that. Sit down with yourself. Start hearing yourself more. Start researching more. Understand your connection to everything. Understand that you have the source of everything that whatever created everything is in you. Is inside of you. Don't 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 think you can't. Don't think you stuck. Don't think that you can't see. Don't think that. You're not getting clues and guidance. Don't think when you're in a store and, so you, and you say, hey, man, you, how you doing today? Oh, man, I'm blessed. God is good. Don't think that when you just hear that, it's just in vain. It ain't, it ain't like you think it is. It's really in vain. It's really what you're supposed to hear. A lot of times we'll shrug that off. Prophet might be going through something. I go in the store. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm, all right, I'm blessed, man. How about you? I'm good, man. I'm blessed, too. Not in a standing. Not in a standing. My blessed is, is, is just lying within a quick conversation, a quick instant. But the message was 
Hey, prophet, you blessed yet. Don't forget. But I miss that. Just trying to keep up with the times. You know, that, that type of right quick. The world is mental, man. The world is mental. It's your process of catching all of the slick and sly things about yourself. All them egoic things about yourself. Egotistic things about yourself. Okay? Spirit, source, know what you're doing it for. Do you realize what you're doing it for? The way you walking, the way you talking, is it why you doing it? Is it the real reason why you doing it? Is God, his source, his love, his betterment the real reason you're doing it? Or you're on the other in vain, you're in the other vein. Protect your energy, protect yourself to and from, watch your surroundings, watch what you're taking your ears, watch what you give out your mouth. Help somebody if you can. Give somebody some words of encouragement if you can. Prophet got words of encouragement. I'm not going to say it's vital. It's important for you to tap in every day. It's important for you to open your eyes. Just be thankful. Make up your own sayings, whatever you have to say. But make sure that you be thankful for source that give you that life force. God, spirit, creator. Be thankful for that. Be thankful that you still sane. Be thankful that you open them up. You can correct things. Be thankful you can think. Be thankful you mobile. Be thankful for whatever you have. Be thankful for whatever you headed toward. Be thankful that you loved enough for these energies, these angels, these spirit guides, these star seeds, these indigo kids, these crystal babies, these aliens, these whatever you want to call them is assisting you in raising your vibration, raising your frequency, helping you understand the God within yourself, self-love. Thankful for that, man. A lot of individuals out there, a lot of y'all, until y'all wake up, open them eyes, and be thankful, you're not going to feel thankful. You're not going to truly understand thankful. You're not going to really sit down with the proper view that you need for yourself. We all coming from distorted views. We still have them in certain ways. That's what we clearing up. As we get to them, we clear them up. That's why you need not keep yourself within the dark energies. Try to correct the dark energies. Try to transmute the dark energies. Try to bring a sense of differentness to your situations. Okay? Till next time, man. That's it, Spirit Say. Love everybody, man. Sky Prophet, baby. Peace out.